Heartburn remedies may help you out in the short term to feel better, but in the long run, they may be doing more harm than good. So in today's video, I'm going to get into some things that you could do long term to help out with your digestive issues. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Thank you for being here today. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so that I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, weight loss, and wellness. So in today's video, this is part three of a series of videos I'm doing on upper GI issues, in particular issues with low stomach acid. So in today's video, we are going to discuss some remedies that you can take more long-term to help eliminate your upper GI issues. Many people are already taking over-the-counter remedies for heartburn, like Tums and things like that, or they're taking prescription ones, which are even stronger, and these remedies in the long run are not good and they can cause a lot of problems long term and there are many studies that have come out lately explaining exactly the mechanism of this so in today's video i'm going to let you know some remedies that you can do to help either come off of those types of remedies or if you're not already on one what you can do for the heartburn gas and bloating that you're experiencing so if you already are on one, you can't just stop at cold turkey. I mean, you could, but most likely you're gonna have a rebound issue and you're gonna feel worse. So you're better off slowly weaning yourself off of them while at the same time starting to enhance your digestion with the things that I mentioned in the last video with the dietary changes and the things I'm gonna mention right now in this video, supplements that you can take. So one of the first supplements you can try is something called betaine hydrochloride with pepsin so you want to make sure it has pepsin in it so this is going to enhance hydrochloric acid production in your stomach as well as giving you pepsin for protein digestion so the way to do this is to slowly incorporate this in addition to weaning off of the other things that you're taking if you want to try taking the betaine hydrochloride and you're not taking something to find the right dose you're going to take one of the pills in the middle of a protein rich meal and see if you notice anything, any weird kind of burning sensation in your stomach. If you don't notice anything, then you can take another one and you keep doing this at a different meal time until you notice that you're feeling a slight warm sensation in your stomach. That's when you know you've hit the right dose. And it also is, is an indicator that yes, indeed, your issue has been low stomach acid, not too much acid. If you were to take one and you immediately feel something, it doesn't necessarily mean you have too much acid. It could indicate that you have gastritis, irritation of the stomach, or possibly an ulcer. So if that's the case, it's too soon for you to use a remedy like that. And I'll get into things that you could do for that as well. So that's the first thing you could do is try betaine hydrochloride. There's plenty of them on the market. The company that we use is Standard Process and they have a product called betaine hydrochloride. It does contain pepsin. And then there's also a product called Zypan which contains both of those plus a few other additional things for the stomach. That's actually my favorite product, Zypan, that I use for digestion overall for patients. And then on the herbal side, there are a couple of products that you can try. The one that we use uh, contains deglycerinated licorice. Okay, we use actually a couple different ones. The one from Mediherb we use is called Hypep. It contains the DGL, the licorice, chamomile, and meadowsweet. And this is very soothing to the stomach, doesn't burn in any way and helps with the that acidic kind of feeling, okay? And then to enhance your own body's production of hydrochloric acid, we use a product called Digest Forte, which contains a bunch of bitter herbs, okay, that have been used traditionally, especially in Europe, to help produce more enzymes overall in the stomach. It contains things like gentian, ginger, feverfew, tangerine, and wormwood. So this is another excellent formula that comes in both liquid and tablet form. And then another product that we use called Risinate is a chewable form of the licorice. So that can also be soothing and something that you take in a pinch. So if you find that the betaine hydrochloride tablets are causing you a burning sensation, then you wanna try using something different. So in the case of what we use, we use a product called Gastrex. So this contains a variety of things such as clay, okra, and chlorophyll, which helps soothe the digestion without irritating, without having the hydrochloric acid component. It just helps with the burning sensations. It helps cool everything down, all the way down the digestive tract. And then we also use a product called Chlorophyll Complex, which again helps with the healing of the lining. 
So if someone is very sensitive to something containing hydrochloric acid, we would start out by giving them something first to address the gastritis or possibly the ulcer. And even if they've been on an acid blocker for a long time, it might be difficult to switch straight into something that's going to enhance the acid production. So it can be a little bit tricky. So uh, it might be best to work with a practitioner on this if you have a really tricky case of this. But overall, if it's a basic case of not having enough stomach acid, you should be okay with using the betaine hydrochloride with pepsin. So look out for that. Or if you work with us, we're going to help you out with a standard process or Medio product, okay? And like I said, if you're already on an acid blocker, it might take some time for you to wean yourself off of that and get on something that's more natural and then hopefully eventually you don't need that as well. And then another important thing too is digestive enzymes overall. They do not contain hydrochloric acid for the most part. So that might be another place that you can start if you're sensitive to the hydrochloric acid. Just use regular digestive enzymes and that will help too while you're weaning off the acid blockers. All right guys, so those are some products and tips that we use to help with this very, very common issue that we see all the time in our clinic. Please go back and watch the other two videos prior to this if you haven't already to understand what's going on with the stomach and why you need to enhance it naturally and what dietary changes to make. And also let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing for this if you haven't tried any of this already. I'm curious to see what you've already been doing. All right guys, thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Take care.